Thanks for coming to check out another My Next Project. Today, we're going to make these benches to go under my new kitchen table. Studio Epic. So unless you're new to my videos, you know that one thing I'm really big on doing is trimming off these edges of the boards I'm going to use. The way I'm turning these boards after I cut it is the cut edge is going down so it will go in the same motion all the way through. So there you see the cut edge went down and now we cut the next side. And then we will set that one to the side, putting the cut edge down again. Now you will see, following the same pattern of the cut side goes down, I will cut the two sides that have not been cut yet. I will repeat this for all the legs, and I think I ended up repeating this step two more times. I'm not going to show you all these cuts, but you get the point. Now we will repeat the same steps for the top part of the bench. I'll be trimming off each side twice with the final cut of the four going to final dimension. This is the same thing I did on the table as you may remember. And this is the final cut that will get us down to our final dimensions. I believe these are right at around 5 inches wide. Using this built in stop block I will now cut all of the legs to the final dimensions. 8 simple cuts. I will now cut all the rails for the bottom of the bench to link. This is what the legs will tie into. These first two cuts are the long rails and these next four will be the short rails that go, will go on the end of each of the benches. Now I have my rails, the sides and the ends. I have all my legs and I have my six boards for the top of the bench to sit on. I'm not going to show you all the pocket holes I drilled, but here's just a couple of them that I did. This is actually a pretty simple and easy glue up and screw up. I'm going to put glue on the ends of each of these end rails and then I'm just going to screw it to the legs. As you see as I finish up the second end here, now what I'm going to do is move this to the side and I'm going to lay both of my bar I mean, excuse me, my pipe clamps out and then I'm going to set the ends back in there and go ahead and get ready to clamp it together to screw in the side rails. Very simple glue up, especially with these pipe clamps made it very easy. 
I put it the length it needed to be and I was able to knock these out pretty quickly. I did these steps for both bench bottoms here, but you're not going to see but one of them. I didn't really see a point in showing both of them since they're pretty much exactly the same. I didn't have hardly any trouble doing this. After I applied the glue, this is a pretty simple glue up. Just put it in the clamps. Add your coals to keep it from damaging the ends and then we're going to add lots of clamps to it. I've been thinking about it for a day or so and I decided I'm going to put some braces on these legs and then I'll help strengthen them up. I've got lines marked where this is going to go and to help secure everything I've got a little system set up here. I repeated these steps for all four ends for the braces. I clamped some scrap boards across the ends of these here you can see. This is to help hold the brace in place until I can secure it with glue and screws. The first thing I'm going to do, of course, is add some glue. Now that I got it clamped up a little bit, I'm going to put the screws in it. Two screws per location. Of course, you got to turn your music on first, so I'm going to get my music going. Alright, so now we get to do the fun part that everybody loves to do. And that's some sanding. Time to make sure that all four ends of the tops of the benches are straight across there after the glue up. So I flew through each of these pretty quickly, just barely as you can tell, cutting anything off of it. But they're smooth after the cut. So here's what I've done. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I've got glue spread all over the bottom of the, or what's going to be the top of the bench where it's going to glue onto the top. And I've actually even ran a bead of glue around the edge of this. I didn't smear it out on the, on the actual bench top. Now I'm going to, I have these clamps strategically placed all the way around to where it'll line up the bench when I turn it over. So now I'm going to just turn this bench over and it should line up in place. Once I got the base for the bench position where I wanted it at, I went back and added a few clamps to help hold it and pressure it, and go ahead and squeeze some of that glue around on the, on the bottom to get good coverage. Now I just went back and added the pocket hole screws in each of the spots. And here's the second bench sped up a little bit for you. Just to simply put glue on the top, spread it out, add it to the base. And I used less little filler blocks this time. Flip it over, get it in place, clamp it, and then go back and add all those fun little pocket hole screws. Now a slight round over with my router. After some final touch up and finish sanding, it is time to go ahead and stain. I don't know how many coats I'm gonna put on this. This is my second one. I put the first one on there a few hours ago and let it dry. It's not. It's it's still got a little bit of tack to it, but it's dry enough that 
I'm gonna go ahead and apply a second coat. I do, I'm trying to do these as, like I did on the table, as thin as I can so that I can apply them more frequently. Thanks again for checking out my bench video for my kitchen table. This was a fun project. It was I enjoyed doing this one. I, I actually may end up making some more similar to this to sit out on the back porch or something. I haven't decided yet. But if you haven't seen the video for the table, make sure you go and check it out too. It's, it's a nice looking table and I enjoyed making that project as well. One of my favorites. So if this is your first video that you're happy to find, you definitely need to check out the table video, but you also need to subscribe if you like this. That'll let you know when the next my next project video is coming out. Thanks again for watching, and as always, y'all see me next time.